I recently uploaded a video on how to download Regions emulator and set it up after it got shut down by Nintendo. However, I noticed that many of you were confused during the setup process, especially with the firmware and switch product keys. I mean, the place that says how to set up the firmware and the switch product keys. So I'm here to recreate the tutorial again and this time around, I'll be explaining everything in more details vividly i will be explaining everything vividly more details so you can understand it better but before we dive into the tutorial i want to ask something from you guys if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing it really helps me a lot and encourages me to create more content like this and your support means a lot to me and i would love to have you as part of my channel community okay so let's get in okay so now let's download the regions emulator okay so to download the regions emulator head over to your browser and open this link i'll drop the link under this video description so head over to this link and then here you can see a lot of regions emulator build so these are the all the final builds for regions emulator including the linux the android and the windows so here we have the linux we have the linux and here we have the windows at the same time we have the debug version for both android and linux so for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using the official regions x64 version which is this one so i'll go with this one let's download this one okay so let's download the emulator Okay, here we are done with the downloading of the emulator. As you can see, this is the regions emulator. This is the final build. And this is S64. So this is the emulator that we downloaded. So this is it. But please, before we continue, there are some files that you need to have. These files. One, you will need to have the firmware version and secondly you need to have the product keys so this this one is the firmware and this one is the product key please note i can't show you or i can't tell you how to get both the firmware and the product keys as it goes against nintendo law on youtube so with that one you have to find it yourself you have to suit yourself on google or blah 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 i i don't know where you can get it but get them one the firmware and two the product keys so get these two after that we are ready to go okay so um another option is or another thing is when you look at this thing this this three three files over here they are in the zip file they are in the zip format the firmware is in the zip format the product key is in the zip format and also the regions emulator itself is in the zip format so what we are going to do is we will need to extract each of these files and to extract the files we can use software like 7-zip or winrar so for the sake of this tutorial we will be using winrar we will be using winrar to continue the tutorial so head over to your browser and then go to the official website of the WinRAR. So this is the official website of the WinRAR. And then download the 64 version. And then download the 64 version of the WinRAR. So download it. So we are downloading the WinRAR. Wait for it. Wait for the download to be finished. Okay, so we are done with the downloading of the WinRAR. Now let's install the WinRAR. So, um, 
this is the WinRAR. So this is the WinRAR that we downloaded. So we need to install the WinRAR. And to do that, just double click it and then press yes. Press install. Here, just press OK and then done. Okay, so we are done with the installation of the WinRAR. So we can now continue to the installation of our emulator. So let's head over to the folder that contains our emulator. So this is it. We have the firm where we have the product keys and also we have the emulator itself. So first of all, we need to extract each of these files. So we will firstly extract the firmware first. And to do that, just right click it and then select the WinRAR. You should see the WinRAR in the menu. Select the WinRAR and then select this one. Extract to firmware slash 18, blah, blah, blah. So select this one and wait for it to finish the extraction. Okay, so we are done with the extracting of the firmware. Now what's left is the product keys and the region simulator. So let's head over to the product keys and let's extract that one too. We are done. Now let's left with the emulator. Put your mouse pointer on it, right click, select and select this one, extract to regions release, blah, 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 select this one. Okay, so now we are done with the extraction. So we have our firmware folder, our product keys folder, and also our regions emulator folder. This folder contains our emulator. So we need to open this folder. Here we can see our regions emulator. This is the emulator. So what we are going to do next is we are going to launch this emulator. It's open and here it says Regions error, blah, blah, blah. Rule 00001 keys not found. What this simply means is that we are going to install our product keys. So um, to do that, just press OK. And then come to this option, which says files. And then open this, this thing, which says open regions folder so open or click on this thing and open the regions folder so we we now have the regions folder now remember that we extracted the product keys let's go back to the folder that contains our product keys this is our product keys so we have our product keys over here so open our product keys and in the product keys we can see product keys and title keys so copy these two, right click it and copy it and then come over to the folder that you opened using the regions emulator. Here, here like this, open this system folder, open this system folder and then paste and then paste both the product keys and the title keys over here. Okay, so we are done with the setting up of the product keys. So now let's close the emulator and re relaunch it again let's open the emulator again okay this time around it didn't ask us for the product keys because we are done with the installation of the product keys so it won't ask again now what's left is the installation of the firmware. Now here, pay attention. What's left next is the installation of the firmware. And to install the firmware, just come over here, select on these two here, and then select install firmware. Now here, there are two methods in the installation of the firmware. The, the easiest one is you select this one and then you select that zip file. 
you select the zip file the unextracted firmware so you select this one and then locate the folder that contains our firmware so um this is our firmware so to use that method we, we need to select the zip file the zip file the unextracted one the zip file so when you select the zip file the app will automatically extract it and then install it and when you use this method which says install firmware from a directory when you use this method then we need to locate the folder that contains our extracted firmware so um to do that we select the folder that we extracted the firmware and then we select it then it will install but what i recommend is let's use the first method which which is this one so we select this one and then locate our downloaded firmware so in this manner it is located inside this tutorial folder and then this firm, uh, this firmware zip file so this is the firmware zip file so we select this one and then select on open this this small box over here which says open select on this one and then wait for it to be installed here it says confirmation install firmware 18.0.0 system version will be blah 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 just press on yes and then install firmware successful okay it has been installed successfully so just press okay so now we are we are done with both setting up the product keys and also setting up the firmware what's left is for our games to appear for our games to appear here here because the most important part is for us to enjoy our game so we need to set it up so that we can see our games over this home page and to do that just head over to the settings click on the options and then select settings and then here you can see game directories game directories so we need to add the game path like we need to add the folder that contains our games our switch games and to do that just press on this add over here and then locate the folder that contains your games files so in this manner my games files are located inside this folder called yuzu and then inside the wrong folder because this wrong folder contains my switch games so select it and then select this one we say select folder and then press on apply and then press on ok so here as you can see my games are showing as as you can see i have the games here the games are showing just press ok so now the next part is we need to configure our inputs meaning our controller setup and to do that me i have i have here with me xbox 360 controller so let me insert it in Okay, so I've inserted the the controller. Now, what's next is head over to the input side, and here you can see player one and blah 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 blah. Here it says input device. Here, um, when you insert in your controller or when you connect your controller, your controller should appear here. So I have as what this is the afterglow gamepad so it shows as this so you select this one and then you configure it accordingly to your liking so you configure it so just config just configure it to your to suit your liking you can go with the full controller or you can go with the joy con the joy con so after you are done just press on apply and then 
select ok so guys i think that is all that is all and as you can see i've vividly explained everything and please if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel because that is the only option to help me i want you guys to be part of my community so please subscribe to my channel thank you